Hey, Nash, what should we make? Everyone else has already made it, but why don't you make some of that Assassin's Creed spaghetti? All right, let's make some Assassin's spaghetti. Today we're making spaghetti a l'assassina, or assassin spaghetti, or killer spaghetti, or killer pasta, or spaghetti bruschetti, or burned spaghetti. Anyways, something I saw Guga make so that he could turn it into a compound butter for his assassin steak. Uh, Sam the Cooking Guys made it. He made it on Not Another Cooking Show, so I was like, it looks so cool. Obviously the name is so cool, and it looks amazing, so we gotta try it. What is the key to such a delicious dish, you ask? Well, burn it. Without further ado, let's give it a shot. So first things first, we gotta make our sauce. So to a sauce pot on medium heat, we're going to add three cups of tomato puree. Ideally you want that stuff that comes in the glass bottle. I forget what it's called. I couldn't find that. So I actually just pureed my own out of some San Marzano's, but uh, you can find the stuff in the glass bottle. That's what you wanna do. Then you pour it in and then we also need three cups of water. Ideally you pour the water into that jar or I'm gonna pour it into this just to get all that tomato residue out. So we're not wasting any of our tomatoes. Three cups of water. I also blended a few garlic cloves into that tomato puree. So you can feel free to add some crushed or minced garlic if you'd like. I'm just gonna give this a stir and then we're just gonna wait till this comes up to a simmer. Once your sauce comes up to a simmer, we're gonna turn the heat all the way down just to keep it warm. Then do a cast iron pan, or you could use a heavy bottom steel pan, whatever. But it's gotta be something wide enough that you can lay in spaghetti and it will sit at the bottom. So to this, we have a few glugs of olive oil. Then we're gonna add two teaspoons of chili flakes and a little bit of minced garlic. We're gonna stir this around. Then we wanna lay in our raw Spaghetti. Allegedly, you want it all kind of facing the same way, so let's we'll see what we can do here. So we're kind of toasting this like you would toast rice before you cook it in certain dishes. Now, allegedly, the name comes from, there was a chef somewhere in Italy that I guess two guys came into his restaurant. Go watch the episode on uh, Not Another Cooking Show for a better version of the story. But uh, two chef, two people came into his restaurant. They said, make us something good. So he decided to take pasta, spaghetti, put it in the pan raw like this, and cook it into the tomato sauce. You'll see in a second. Apparently, he got distracted, let it kind of burn a little bit. So the the, the, the sauce kind of charred. So it's a little bit of a, a burn, well, hence the name, bruschetti burned spaghetti so he asked them how it was so i guess he decided to serve it to him anyways asked them how it was and they said it's good but it's so spicy you're trying to kill us thus the name assassin spaghetti and that being said if we're just talking about red I, if there's am, unless i'm missing ingredients i don't know how this could be so spicy you'd call him an assassin but hey this was a long time ago so maybe the the spice tolerance was different but fun fact although maybe it's better left to mystery because it's such a cool name <laughs> So we're just looking for that toast. We're gonna kind of cook this like risotto. Not exactly, but we're looking for this to get toasted, so. So once your spaghetti starts to get kind of a nice golden brown, now we're gonna take this sauce. And the simple way is you can do half the sauce first and half the sauce later. The more complex way is you can just do a little bit at a time, so. Don't mind the flare ups. We're trying to keep this kind of cooking at a high-ish, more like a medium-ish heat. So then keeping the spaghetti all kind of like this in a line, but spreading it out as much as you can without messing that up. We're just gonna let this cook and we're gonna let this, before we add more tomato sauce, we're gonna let this tomato sauce kind of reduce until there's basically nothing there. We're looking for the pasta to absorb all that tomato sauce. So right now, we're just gonna wait till this first round absorbs and reduces to almost nothing. And when your sauce is pretty much gone, you can add more. And as it reduces, depending on what pan you want, you're using, you might wanna use like a metal spatula. I got this guy on deck just in case I need it to kind of scrape up any sort of burn bits because you're supposed to kind of char this a little bit. It's supposed to have a little bit of char. That's just gonna add texture. 
can see we're getting this nice, deep, rich color. We're starting to get a little bit of burn bits and that's exactly what we want. I know it's totally counterintuitive, but that's the beauty of this pasta. And as our sauce starts to disappear, we add more. Let's put in the last of our sauce. When you've used up all your pasta sauce and your pasta is thoroughly cooked and as charred as you'd like, it's time to plate. This wasn't part of the recipe, but I'm gonna take some liberties and add a little bit of parm. And just a little bit of greens. Time for a bite. Cheers. Wow, hmm. that is really good. Texturally, it's got a lot more going on than a normal pasta dish, simply because, you know, we, we just cooked it in that way we did. It takes a little bit longer, but you get some crispy parts and some other parts, and then cooking it that way with the sauce, the, the it's not like sauce on your pasta. It's like the pasta's absorbed the sauce. It's, it's really cool. And then just cooking the tomato sauce that way gives the tomato sauce a much deeper, richer flavor because we've essentially caramelized a lot of the parts of that tomato sauce. Anyways, really, really good. 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. It's really not that hard to make and pretty cheap and you don't use a lot of ingredients. So I highly recommend trying it. That being said, let's see what Nash thinks. Come here. Well, you want some assassin spaghetti? They're good. You like that? Yeah, you do, huh? Good boy. Nash approves. I approve. It's a delicious dish. Pretty straightforwardly easy to make. And it's got a really cool name. And it's kind of unlike any pasta dish I've ever tasted. Maybe you've ever tasted. So I recommend giving it a try. That being said, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind taking a second to like, subscribe, and share the show, I'd really appreciate that. If you do want notifications every time we drop a new video, hit that notification bell. We try to drop full-length videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, in case you didn't know that. Go check out our website, Tim's Chaos Kitchen. Kitchen.com. All of our recipes and everything is there. And uh, if there's anything you want me to make, you want me and Nash to taste, drop that in the comments here, or you can contact us on the website and do it there. But yeah, we're happy to make anything you want us to make. As long as it's realistic, we'll make it. All that being said, just remember, cook more, eat better, embrace the chaos. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, folks. Peace.